let's go eel fishing. I uh, took some video clips of the first day, um, then the first tide. This year is going good for everybody so far, which is good. Last year was terrible. It sucked. Um, some would say, oh, there's no eels. There's no eels. They're endangered species, which is just a bunch of crap. It's called fishing. Sometimes you have good years. Sometimes you have bad years. It's just how it is. So, uh, come on along and check it out. Um, I use a pike net method, and uh, same ones I build in a previous video I made. So I build them, I sell them, I fish those same types of nets, and uh, been catching a few this week. Pretty good paycheck today. So I kind of took you through the process of went, got them, got them home. Got them cleaned out, then uh, took them to a buyer today and sold them off. So it's uh, 23.30 right now, or 11.30 for people that don't know there's 24 hours in a day at night. And uh, yeah, I'm still awake, and I have to head out at midnight tonight to go out and go fishing. And it's like 19 degrees, wind's blowing. So, I have to go out and tend my net, deal with everything being frozen, get home, um, whatever I get tonight, take care of those when I get home. Uh, that's how eel fishing goes, happens on the tide. So, the videos I took were during daylight, so you could kind of see what was going on. Sorry, I didn't have any cameraman to take videos of me dumping it out or anything like that on the riverbank. But you kind of get the gist. Hey, y'all, go sat. Huh? Huh? Twenty twenty two has begun. Oh. There's mine floating. Tail bag. I can get to it now. Tide's dropped out. See what happens. Unbelievable. One of these white nets, if you fill it, holds two pounds. I overfilled it this morning. First tide, 28 degrees air temperature, 36 degrees ocean temperature. These little black things you see swimming are sea fleas. Need to finish getting them screened out. So I gotta start scooping out of here and cleaning them into the house tank. Well, there's what they look like in a the net. They're itty bitty little things. Look like uh, spaghetti wiggling around. So I'm going to start straining these out and get them into that cooler there. There's some fleas. They weigh up good, but the buyers don't want them. <laughs> Got a few in that tank. Fell in, so after I get all the eels in here and another screening done, I'll go through and dip through and start picking out the fleas. Get cleaned up a little bit better. Well, there's about two pounds right there. Just shut the air off so you can see them better. A few fleas in there. Not gonna worry too much about it right now. There'll be more on the next tide. But they'll ball up like that and chill out. Well, it's about one in the morning. I had to bring home a lot of fleas tonight. You can 
see him swimming around there. It's only 19 degrees out tonight. It's supposed to be cold out again tomorrow night. Well, tonight now, we've rolled over. So, I couldn't really fart around with these things out on the bank because they'd uh, freeze to death. Everything's iced up. So I had to just dump them out of the net, get them in the bucket, get them in the truck, get them home, and deal with them inside here where it's warm. So, they were a little slow in the truck tank. As soon as I dip them in the water in here, they went all nuts. It's just like a sauna. Yeah, I just shut the air off for a second. I've gathered up, I'm gonna guess about four pounds, just eyeball, eyeball measurements. Did a few fleas in the tank. I can saw it over and get the rest of them out when I go ready to sell. Everybody seems to be pretty happy. Wanna keep a close eye on these things. This water is starting to get kind of crappy. Starting to smell some, so I'm gonna see about getting rid of this batch later today. Change the water all out. Get ready for the next round. Yeah. All right, you wanna get the air right back on them. All right, getting ready to go sell today. So I gotta see what the water temperature is in the tank here. Holy shit, that's cold. I got 30.6 in the truck tank. Let's go see what the tank is in the shop. around 49 50 degrees for this water in the shop so if I take them out of this water and throw them on the truck right now I'm gonna kill them they can't handle that that's a 20 degree difference they will be they will be dead within probably two minutes so I have to warm up the water up in the truck Mix in hot water, start bringing that temperature up, get it up to around 47, 48 degrees. Then I can take these out, put them in there. They can handle coming out of 30 degrees into 50. They love it. They go nuts, but they can't go the other way. Let's see what we got now. Yeah, a good spot here. Yeah, we're up to 48 and a half, 49. <clears throat> what I do is I get some warm water, throw it in here, stir it in. So that eels can live in 30 degree water. They just can't get thrown from 50 to 30 or 50 to 45 or 50 to 43 all at once. So I'm at 50, 50 degrees right now. That's same as what I got inside. So they can go from that water to this water and they're gonna be fine now. So once they're in this water, this water can cool right down to 40 gradually, they'll be fine. <laughs> 